If you're a fan of cinema quality cameras, there's an exciting development from Sony on the horizon that could change the game for filmmakers everywhere. The new Sony FX50 is shaping up to be one of the brand's most impressive cinema cameras yet. As we explore what makes the FX50 so enticing, we'll also take a look at the rumored Sony A6700R and compare it to its predecessor, the FX30. Let's jump into the details. Sony FX50. If the rumors are correct, the FX50 could revolutionize the cinema industry. It is rumored to include a 35mm full-frame sensor that differentiates it from the FX30, with a dynamic range projected to reach at least 15 stops. For those unfamiliar with the term, dynamic range is vital for capturing intricate details in both bright highlights and dark shadows, making it essential for cinematographers who prefer exceptional camera performance. For design, the FX50 seems like it took inspiration from the Canon C70 but in a more compact and lightweight package. This design choice will be a breath of fresh air for filmmakers who prioritize portability without sacrificing performance. Rumors also indicate that the FX50 will feature advanced functionalities such as autofocus, in-body image stabilization, IBIS, and an electronic variable ND filter. These elements are critical for professional video work ensuring sharp focus, steady shots, and adaptable exposure control, especially in challenging lighting conditions. And when it comes to the price, the FX50 has a rumored price point of around $3,000. This positions it as a highly competitive option against high-end cinema cameras like the Arri Alexa and the Canon C70. A glimpse at the Sony A6700R. On the other hand, there is also a bit of rumor about the upcoming Sony A6700R although details are still emerging, what we do know is enough to pique our interest. The R in its name hints at a focus on resolution, much like the higher-end models in Sony's A7 series. Currently, the A6700 boasts a solid 26-megapixel resolution, and it seems likely that the A6700R will aim even higher. Rumors suggest that Sony may adopt a dual lineup strategy with this release, similar to their approach with full-frame models. Improved Video Quality The launch of the FX50 and A6700R shows Sony's strong dedication to video innovation. The success of the Sony ZV-E10 last year, which contributed to a whopping 50% of overall sales within the Alpha series, has likely fueled Sony's ambition to expand its video offerings. On top of that, reports are suggesting that new video-focused interchangeable lenses may be released next year. This would enhance the flexibility of Sony's camera systems, giving filmmakers an extensive range of tools to realize their creative ideas. The pairing of the FX50 with these specialized lenses would certainly make Sony's ecosystem more attractive to those who prioritize video production. FX50 vs FX30 Now. Let's take a moment to compare the FX50 with its predecessor, the FX30. The FX30 has already carved a niche for itself within Sony's cinema line, known for capturing stunning 10-bit UHD 4K imagery at up to 120 FPS. Its 26 megapixels APS-C Exmor RCMOS sensor and BIONZ XR processor deliver high-quality 4K images with an impressive 14-plus stops of dynamic range complemented by dual-base ISO architecture to boost low-light performance. When we stack the FX30 against the FX50, a few key differences emerge. The FX30 offers features like high-sensitivity recording up to ISO 32000 and the ability to record in 10-bit 4, 2, 2 using advanced formats like XAVCHS and XAVCSI. However, while the FX30 is an exceptional tool for filmmakers, the FX50 is rumored to take things up a notch, particularly in terms of dynamic range and sensor optimization specifically designed for video recording. The FX30's lightweight design and ergonomic build make it a solid choice for solo operation, yet the FX50's rumored advancements and features like autofocus and IBIS could make it the go-to camera for professionals seeking the ultimate balance between performance and usability. Speculation also includes the FX50 utilizing a brand new sensor, tailored for video recording. 
If this is the case, we can expect improved low light performance and color accuracy, reinforcing the FX50's position as a top-tier cinema camera. Additionally, the potential for new professional apps and firmware updates hints at a future where the user experience is continually enhanced. Final Thoughts In the end, the rumored Sony FX50 could emerge as a groundbreaking addition to the cinema camera market, boasting impressive specs and an accessible price point. As we await official announcements, one thing is certain, Sony's dedication to empowering creators is stronger than ever. Stay tuned for more updates, and thanks for watching.